Welcome to Wasmo Tutorials. This tutorial will teach you how to set up a MyCloud remote control domain. Go to our website at wisemo.com. Click the download button to go to the trials page. Here you can try our land-based modules. And more interestingly, for the subjects of this video, our internet-based remote control. Click the sign up button. In order to use my cloud, you need to create a domain. A domain groups the computers and devices together you can remote control. It provides you with download links to easily deploy pre-configured apps to your computers and it enables you to invite other users to join the domain. First, give your MyCloud domain a name. It can be your company name, your own name, or anything else you find suitable. The name must be at least three characters long and be unique. If the domain name is available, a check mark will be shown next to the name. Then specify country and time zone if not already correct. Enter the email address you want to use with your domain. You use your email address to log in and to receive important information about your domain. If you for example forget your password, your email address is used for recovery. Enter your name and a strong password. Verify your password. Then enter the characters in the CAPTCHA so we can see that you are not a computer. If you have difficulties reading it, click on it until you can. Check Email me with product updates and news if you like and check that you accept our license agreement. Finally, click the Create New Domain button. Open your mails and find the verification mail from my cloud. If you do not see it, then check your spam folder. Click the Activate Domain link in the mail. You can also copy and paste the link manually to your browser. Go to Sign In and enter your username and password. When you log in for the first time, you will be sent to the deployment page because you need to install an app on the devices you want to remote control. This is covered by other tutorials that you can find on the instructions video page. When you signed up, you created not just a domain, but also a user account with administrator privileges. You can update your details in My Profile by clicking the account in the upper right corner or expand settings and click My Profile. In My Profile, you can edit your contact information by clicking the Edit button or change your password by clicking the Change Password button. An important security feature here is that you can configure your account to use two-factor authentication. Two-factor authentication requires an app installed on your mobile device, for example, Google Authenticator or Microsoft Authenticator. Two-factor authentication adds an extra layer of security to your account because it requires two independent pieces of information, your password that you know and your phone that you have. So even though someone might uh, somehow get your password, they cannot log in because they don't have your phone. And if someone steals your phone and would be able to unlock it, they cannot log in because they don't know your password. Click Set up two-factor authentication to configure it. Copy the recovery code and save it in a safe place. You can use the recovery code to reset two-factor authentication if you should lose access to the Authenticator app. Then click I have my recovery code saved. To learn about installing the Authenticator app and details about configuring it, you can read this document, but it's rather simple if you know how. I have installed Google Authenticator app from Google Play. 
Open the app and click the plus sign. S select scan a QR code. This will start the camera. You might have to allow the app to use the camera. Then hold up the camera so you see the QR codes. When the QR code is read, you have the account in the list. The last step is to verify that the app is configured correctly. You do that by entering the verification code that is shown for the account in the app. The verification code changes every 30 seconds, so you uh, shouldn't hesitate too long. So enter the verification code and click Activate two-factor authentication. Now you have configured and enabled two-factor authentication for your account. Let's see how it works. Log out, and then let's try to log in again. Enter your username and password, and click Sign In. This time you are prompted for the verification code. Enter the verification code that the Authenticator app shows. If it's red, it means that it will change soon. So you might want to wait until you have a new value. OK, then click Verify, and you are logged in again. To disable two-factor authentication, go to Settings, My Profiles, and click Disable two-factor authentication. You will of course have to enter the verification code from your app, or the recovery code you saved in the beginning. The last thing I want to show in this tutorial is where you can add additional user accounts for other people who should use my cloud, either to log into this web interface or to log into the my cloud from the apps uh, they would use for remote control. Go to settings and then users. Without going into too much details, you should click the add user button and enter email address, first name and last name, and then select a role for this user. When you click add user, an email address will be sent to the email address. The new user should click the verification link in the email and will be prompted to configure a password. The new user can also configure two-factor authentication like shown previously. You can add as many users as you like. This concludes this tutorial. Please watch our other videos on the instruction videos page. Thank you for watching.